Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we will learn how to make a spawn manager so we can spawn enemies from the end of the map uh, and make the enemies go towards our player. So let's get right into it. Let's start by creating a empty object which will be our spawn manager. So let's also rename it to spawn manager. All right. And then we want it to be positioned at the end of our map, so let's drag it all the way over here and a little bit here. Something like this should be fine. Alright, there we go. Maybe a little bit lower, alright. Now, we need a script that that will tell the the game that it needs to spawn an enemy on the spawn manager points. So let's make a script, uh, a sharp, C sharp script, and let's call it spawn manager, right? Also, don't forget to drag it onto the spawn manager here. Uh, let's check, it's here, double click it to open Visual Studios, and then let's get into the coding. So, first and for all, we will need to define our enemy because uh, we want our spawn manager to know what it needs to spawn. So let's say public game object and let's say enemy and an RB for a rigid body. And the rigid body is basically, well, let's minimize this. The rigid body is basically the enemy, like as a whole. Um, so in the start methods, we will say instantiate. The instantiate method needs to know what it needs to spawn, and it needs to know where it needs to spawn it, and uh, how it needs to spawn it, like uh, uh, what's a rotation. So we will say spawn the enemy RB, so our enemy, uh, spawn it at the transform so we're getting the transform of our spawn manager here we say transform not position so this this is basically just the position of the spawn manager that we give it and then another comma and now we need to give it a rotation so just say transform the rotation so we give it again the rotation of the spawn manager object in the game so basically what we tell it is uh, the instantiate ma method will make a clone of this game object, so the enemy RB. We give it the enemy RB, we say spawn the enemy RB at, at your position and spawn it at your rotation. So that's really easy. Do control S to save it, minimize it to see if everything works. Also don't forget to see, it. it's asking us for um, for an object here, so let's go to prefabs because in the previous tutorial we made an a enemy prefab. So let's drag the enemy prefab in here because that what it's that's what it wants us to sp uh, to spawn. Also, if we go in our enemy prefab, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have the script yet. So let's go to our scripts and um, the enemy movements. Let's drag it in there. Boom. Save this. Control S. Go to spawn manager. All right, everything looks good. Let's play test and see if it works. And as you can see, it spawns an enemy, and the enemy goes towards our player, just as we want it. Uh, in the next video, we will we will uh, randomize the position of the enemy, so it will spawn all over the place and not only on this position, because that would be a little bit easy to dodge. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button, of course. Bye guys.